Hello, hello everyone. This is Effie. I'm back with another holiday card using our Holly Branch stamp set. This six by six photopolymer set features an outline Holly Branch image and it also has several stamps where you can layer this beautiful Holly Branch image. So the leaves consist of two stamps. The berries also consist of two stamps and then you have a single stamp for the branch. And once you stamp all of the layers, you get this really gorgeous and festive holly branch and you can customize it in different color inks depending on what color palette you choose. So once I've stamped my holly branch onto some cardstock, I'm just going to die cut the image using the coordinating die. So I'm going to place my die cut side down and then I'm going to secure the die onto my cardstock with some thermoweb tape and then I'm going to flip my panel over, put it into my die cutting sandwich and I'm going to feed the sandwich into my electric die cutting machine. Then I'm going to carefully peel away the tape and then I'm going to release the die cut from the die. Now off camera I did die cut some additional holly branches. I'm going to need, let me see, about five in total. So I did that off camera so you don't see me stamping over and over and die cutting over and over. So now I'm just going to prepare the background which everything is going to rest upon. So I took an A2 size white cardstock panel and I'm going to do some ink blending at the top and bottom edges and the ink is going to come up towards the middle and I'm using our Peach Blossom and Beach Blondie dye inks. Now these are not traditional holiday colors but I wanted to shake things up a bit and use these colors for my card. So next I'm going to take the largest die from our double stitch rectangles small die collection and I'm just going to die cut an A2 panel. After I've die cut the uh, die, I'm going to set that inner panel aside for a later project and I'm just going to use the border that I cut out. So that die cut out, I mean the die added stitching to the inner and outer edges so this border has this beautiful stitching on it and it has a lot of interest. So once I've adhered that border onto my blended panel, oh, I forgot to mention earlier that I blended the panel using uh, just some stencil brushes. So after I've adhered that border onto the blended panel, I'm going to stamp my sentiment in our hot tourmaline dye ink and I just use my mini missy to help me get some nice placement. Next I'm going to start assembling my card. I'm going to pop up all of my holly branches using some foam squares and I cut some of the foam squares in half so that some of the smaller elements on my branch are nicely supported. When I was making this card, I just made it kind of on the go. And what I mean by that is this is the first time I'm making this card. When I first used to start making uh, videos, I used to make the card beforehand and then shoot the video. But I found that as my card making skills got better, I didn't need to do this. I found that I was pretty happy with my card making results the first time around. You do see me place my clusters without the foam tape and I kind of just place them. Uh, but honestly, my tip is after you kind of have an idea of what you want to do, just start putting your foam squares onto your die cuts and start putting them down. And I found that once I've placed the first few pieces, I make the entire thing work as I start to assemble the entire card. So I put the two pieces or the two clusters down and then with some of the, um, I guess, the excess that I've chopped off the card, I just kind of tuck them into places and I just made it work. And honestly, this saves me a lot of time because then you don't have a choice uh, to be indecisive. You have to work around with what you've already done. So once my holly cluster arrangement is complete, I'm just going to finish off the card by adding some of our clear rhinestones in visual triangles 
onto the face of my card. And these clear rhinestones are really beautiful. They look like beautiful little droplets. So once I've adhered them down, my card is complete. I hope you all enjoyed today's project and video. And if you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it on a weekly basis. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time.